the sweeter one you are is so wonderful. But then, you know, the villain's gotta come in and mix it up a little, make things a little more spicy. I know that many of us imagine scenes that can add or change a lot of the films we like the most almost always happens with the ending. We say, if only this had happened, it would be different. But what if the scenes do exist? Much of the plot we saw in Descendants 4 could have been different. Stay until the end of the video to find out all the scenes that could have added more to this saga. Let's see if this song, it's not really a secret recipe, a little butter, flour, sugar, and a lot of positivity. Sunshine's a little more bright. Honestly, it always works for me. That's why I have enough for everyone I see. Sounds similar, you know? Well, it's Life is Sweeter, sung by Bridget and the rest of the cast. But what would you say if there's more to that song that you didn't see? Many wanted more involvement from Rapunzel's daughter, so let's look at this storyboard. But with time and a few more treats, they will be. A few more treats, they will be. I'm just like my hair, don't fit in anywhere And I can't say I mind it No, I don't I, I, I think your hair is really great Smooth Looking good, Zelly The sun shines a little more you can see that she is sitting with an instrument in her hands, perhaps hoping to sing her part of the song and give a little different feel to that scene. At the end of her part, Chloe praises Zelly, possibly hinting at a romantic relationship. The scene was deleted along with another scene with Zelly. Rumors suggest that there were more cut scenes with Zelly and Chloe. Zelly's identity remains a mystery. At first, it was reported that she was Rapunzel, and then Rapunzel's daughter. How could she be Rapunzel if Rapunzel is supposed to be locked in the tower? After the scene, they changed her name to Meadow. The song moves to the part of the evil children, which some viewers say is much better than the original. Now it's admittedly brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. What do you think of the scenes? And would you have liked to see them in the film? Looking good, Zelly. The sun shines a little more. Let's remember the song a little bit. Sometimes I make mistakes, and sometimes I burn the cake, but I still believe that everything will be all right. Do you think there are other Disney characters who could join him in this part? There are several that cook, and as the lyrics say, they always try to be better. There were others that maybe they took them out because they felt they might offend someone if they were misinterpreted. For example. Hey. Thanks. Oh, sure. Happy to for all of them. For all. Flamingo feathers are super rare. I hey. Warn you. You can't. You 
I understand the need to speed up some scenes so as not to make them too long, as well as the presence of additional elements, but was such a long scene necessary when Uliana transforms into a flamingo? And the vibe matches their journey and their story as well. It's different from the first three descendants. It still feels familiar. It's in the same family, but these kids are really taking it and turning it into their own thing which I love. Moving on to the next scene, listen princess calls Tiana, water flows deep in my veins. I can cheer her up. Don't let go of my lovely self. Tiana the princess and her song would have added a lot to the film. Another classic princess next to Rapunzel. Instead, we had Galadin's part. Would you have liked to see Tiana in the movie? Like and share this content with friends to see what they think of that scene. Hey princess, call me Tiana. I got that bayou water running so deep in my veins. I can jazz it up, don't you pass it up. There are other characters that we felt lacked a little more involvement, because if Aladdin had used his carpet, maybe he would have been a bit more of a thief. Speaking of Aladdin, initially there was a part with Aladdin on his magic carpet. Hey, Aladdin. Moving on to the image shared by actor Peter Lindell, we see Morgie with the magic cookbook that Red and Chloe apparently left behind. Does this mean Morgie was behind the prank, or is he still planning it somehow? Or did he just find it after the others froze? Keep in mind that he was the guardian and wasn't among those who were immobile. There are some scenes of Morgie where he opens the book in the original timeline that may answer what we raised in the previous theory. It is said that since he was not evil at all, he was able to open the book because he did not detect impure feelings on his part. On the contrary, he was just pretending to fit in. So here we are missing a scene as well, since after they stop Yuliana from doing evil. The Red Queen is still red and not with pink hair like Bridget. Although they should explain why the fairy godmother didn't know how to open the book, and when Red and Chloe travel back in time it happens so easily, don't you think it's strange? Also, at what point does the fairy godmother become Cinderella's fairy godmother? Well, there is a strong theory that Cinderella was the one who made the joke. What do you think? Of course, these ideas come from a storyboard where we can see what could have happened and how everything would be different. And many fans were expecting to see more of Zelly because when we saw some previews of this film, she was seen in several behind the scenes, and we assumed that she was going to have more participation in the film. Remember that on our channel, you can see more facts and keep up to date with what your favorite Descendants characters are up to. In fact, you can make up with some of them. Do you know how? Well, we're going to give you a behind the scenes look at how Red, her mom, and Chloe do their makeup. See you in a future video. I've really kind of wrapped and I loved it. Never done a song like this before, so that's exciting. The music is so upbeat and I get a chance to sing an iconic song in the film that I'm really excited for everyone to hear. Yeah. Yeah. 